All right, hello everybody. It's one two three stealth bomber. Um, I'm bringing you another tutorial on the assault squad editor today, and today we're going to be talking about emit and wait commands. Um, so simply, what uh, wait and emit command is? It has um, a unit will follow a waypoint as directed, and then it'll emit like a unit from that unit. So in my case for today, we're going to have this truck follow a waypoint and then drop off some troops. Okay, so first what we're going to do is we're going to give the troops that, that need to be dropped off the individual uh, a tag, okay? These guys have to individually have a tag because we're going to be using that later, okay? So you have to give them two tags. One is you have to give the, uh, the vehicle that's following the waypoint a tag, and then you have to have the people who will be getting dropped off a tag as well. You don't need a hidden if you're doing it right away as soon as you press start, but say if you're doing it later in the game, like after an objective completes, then that would be different. You would use hidden for that case. But in this case, we're not using it. Okay, so now I'm just putting them inside the truck. Uh, now we're just going to add some waypoints. Okay, so while I'm adding waypoints, I'm going to talk a little bit more about um, what emit and wait can be used for. Uh, obviously, this video is only 5 minutes and 49 seconds, so I'm only doing one example. However, emit and wait can be used for many things. Um, Obviously, this is one example, um, but it can also be used for landing like beach invasions as well. A lot of people don't know that, but this is actually this commands right here I'm going to teach you will actually be used for uh, beach invasions. For example, um, once the LCVPs have the infantry inside, they go up to the beach, it will have a wait. They'll wait a couple, like, second or two, and then they'll omit the troops, and then they'll follow another waypoint to go back out to sea. And then we have, and then, like, say if you wanted to have an infinite from my while loop and if commands, then it'll, uh, it'll do it infinitely, okay? So now we're going to go back to waypoints. Now what we're going to do here is um, we're going to add a separate waypoint set for the infantry once they get out. Uh, make sure they're not attached to the original waypoints where the truck follows, okay? These are strictly for the infantry only. And you, we do that by just not selecting other, any other waypoint and just hit and add and then whatever. You can make as many waypoints as we need to, okay? So what we're going to do now is for the waypoint you want the units to come out of, you want to select it and go to commands and then look for the command wait, okay? All you have to do here is just give it a time. You don't need to give it a selector. This, When it says W, that means that's the overall tag for any unit who follows this waypoint, okay? After you do that, go to commands again and look for emit. Same thing with the selector. You don't need to touch it. But however, for waypoint, you do need to um, put the waypoint where the inventory will be getting dropped off at. So for this case, it'll be 20. Um, that will be the waypoint they will follow. This, the waypoint here is not talking about what you, waypoint the truck will follow. It's talking about one the infantry will follow. Okay. Now for crew, just uh, give it the crew tag for the infantry that are getting dropped off. And then you can just hit OK after that. You'll notice uh, this waypoint has turned a red and red stripe uh, instead of a white and red stripe. That indicates that a command has been acted upon this waypoint. Um, and you noticed that earlier from when I put added in the delete command as well. It does it for anything when you add in a command on the waypoint. It automatically turns it that color to show you that you have added something. Okay. Now we're just giving it a simple trigger. Making the truck move. So I'm just go to commands and look for active the waypoint. Uh, just give it its selector, its tag. Give it the truck tag. And give it the waypoint it, the truck is going to start at. In my case, it will be zero. And for approach, um, if you need to, you can check that off as well. And you're all set. And we can just hit start now. And now, um, yeah, I know the truck's moving a little slow, so it'll take some time. What I could have done was I could have added in, a, in an actor state, so change the speed of the vehicle. So it could have gone faster, but that's an optional command. Um, so yeah, so uh, it's just about done here. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch to F3 mode just to show you um, that it'll stop at waypoint six, and then the guys will get out and move to waypoint twenty, and then waypoint twenty-one. It'll sit there for about two seconds, okay, 
and then uh, the guys get out. Now the truck will not move until everybody's out because you're, that you, the tag has given it to all the infantry, so it gets rid of all of them before the truck moves. And obviously, once all the truck, once all the infantry are out, um, the truck will go on its way to the rest of the waypoints. Okay. So uh, yeah, that's really about it. Um, yeah, that's really about it. Um, so I hope you guys liked the video, enjoyed it. You know, whatever, liked and favored it. Um, so this will be very useful for, uh, like, some, for an uh, example like this or even beach invasions. Now you can do it for stuff like that. So I hope you guys will have fun with this. And um, as always, thanks for watching. And I hope I'll see you guys next time.